Hello and welcome to the Soundation Studio Effects tutorial series. Today we're going to look at the filter in Soundation Studio. The filter contains both a low pass filter and a high pass filter, switchable by clicking the corresponding buttons. A low pass filter lets frequencies below the cutoff frequency through and lowers all frequencies above. A high pass filter does the exact opposite. I'm going to load up a long synth sound in channel 1 and loop it. I'm going to add a filter to channel 1 by clicking the effects button and choosing filter. By default, it is set to low pass. Let's listen to the low pass filter sounds when raised. And now the high pass filter. The resonance knob governs how much filter resonance will occur alongside lowering the frequencies below the cutoff frequency. This introduces a ringing feel to the sound. Now let's create a classic filter sweep. Set the filter to low pass and lower cutoff and resonance. In the automation drop down menu on the channel, click on display off and choose filter cutoff. Now click the lower left side to add an automation curve. Add a new value to the curve by clicking anywhere. Add another and hit play. Watch how the cutoff knob now follows the automation curve. Adjust the curve to your liking by clicking and dragging on the points in the automation curve. You can switch between low pass and high pass if you like.
To delete a point on the automation curve, simply click on the point again. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy working with the filter in Soundation Studio.